What's going on YouTube? It's Chuck back with Chuck's Hobby Spot. Well, we are here with a new video, new segment that we're going to do called the new cool tool. So um, on the side of me, I've got uh, a bunch of tools that I've been piling up and not opening on purpose to do um, product reviews and uh, videos on how they work and what I think of them. And uh, that's what we're going to do today. So we do have another, uh, what the concept for me on this tool is very cool. Uh, I've been looking for something like this. Uh, I know Art uh, Lasky with Lasky's Pro Specialty Shop has sold a, a, a little pin to mark uh, a drilling hole in. Uh, but I think this here could be another alternative uh, to that so I, I like to drill holes a lot and a lot of stuff here and to have a bore hole positioner uh, for round stock is kind of cool so uh, let's take a look at this new cool tool and see how it works I'm gonna open it here on camera so um, let's check this out and let's give it a roll come on guys let's go all right here's the tool it's uh, maybe a mass -haw. It's, uh, I, I messed with it just a bit ago just to see, you know, what it was, how to work it. But, uh, I've already unboxed it. It comes nice in a styrofoam pack like this. It's called a borehole positional, positioner round bar drilling auxiliary tool. So I think this can come in handy. Uh, I think I paid 50 ish bucks for it through Hobbyist Heaven. Um, uh, I've seen a price from, 30 to 55 bucks or something like that so uh i thought it'd be kind of a cool tool to to uh do a little review on see what happens and uh it, it takes a bit to get used to it and figure out what everything does but this here is it's an adjustment piece and it lets you gives you your uh your drill sizes here uh, so this would be like a 2.8 to 3.0, a 2.2 to 2.5, etc. It goes on and on. So it, it's it's like a it's a tool to kind of be close with. It's not going to be a perfection tool. I bet it's a lot better than 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 doing it just uh, freehand. I was using a, a tool like this from a uh, Scale Pro Shop. It's a dead center. These are very nice too. These work really good. A lot of people use them. But I thought if I wanted to do something precise, uh, I thought maybe I'll spend the money and see what happens here. This here is like you can drill a hole through the side or through the, the center of your styrene. So this here is a solid piece of styrene. I don't even know what size it is. Uh, we'll stick it in here. We'll drill a hole through it. And then we'll drill a hole through the front and see what happens here. So um, I have some drills like this. I don't know if they'll go deep enough. Uh, let's pick a size here too big for that one but it will fit in this so this is a solid piece of styrene let's see what happens here i don't want to break this because it seems like it wants to break these are fragile drills here I would basically drill through a hollow one before I did a solid one. So we'll do a hollow one next. Let's see what happened here. I don't know how far we went through. Again, I'm getting, yeah, it's a nice little hole. It went all the way through. It's a nice hole. I'm sure you gotta clean it out a little bit. But yeah, if you wanna, if you wanna set spindle right height or whatever, and you wanna make your own spindles, this is probably the tool for that. So, uh, and everybody wants to adjust right height the models and stuff like that. This would be kind of cool. I, I think it's a cool tool, so. 
So let's try, let's try doing something um, going through the center. Will this one work? Will this, because this is a solid piece again, but this one, I think it won't go through that. So let me see here what size hole would probably work for this drill. It's too small. Let's try that. I think that's where we're at. We probably want to adjust it back out. Back to about there. I'm sorry, I don't do videos like live videos like this. So I thought it'd be kind of a cool thing to do. And we'll try to see how that drills through there. I'm sure this tool is going to take some time to get used to. Uh, I just thought it would come in handy for a bunch of different things here. Chassis stuff and maybe some roll bar stuff. Um, stuff like that. These are small drills, so I'm trying to be very delicate and not break one. See what happens there. Uh, yeah, drilled right through the center of it. You can barely see it on camera, but it did drill through the center. Um, yeah, that's cool. Let's do a hollow piece. Let me see. I just got random stuff in here. Um, I'll just drill through it. And then you got little markers here to tell you, like if you marked a piece on here, it, it'll it'll actually, you know, point it out for you on there where it's at. So, which is kind of a cool deal here. So, and I think we can go all the way through on this one here. Let me see where we're at with this. Let's see here. cool I, I kind of like this little tool so let's see we'll use this drill okay will it fit in that one nope but it fits in this one and these here you got to be kind of careful with and there it goes i felt it go right through it and if it was me and, and i'm using this tool i'm probably gonna once I get through it, I'm probably going to take it out and drill through the same hole all the way. Um, and it probably will work best. But that's a really nice fine hole. You guys can see that. That is pretty cool. I, I think there's a place for this in my shop. Uh, it's real small, nice to tuck away. Um, and I do a lot of scratch building. So, so that is going to make a really cool tool. So uh, this is probably... I think I've done a, a tool review a few times on, on this channel, and uh, this is the first edition of the series of tool, cool, new cool tools I'm gonna do. I have a lot of stuff that I've been packing up and piling up, and I wanna do reviews on a lot of uh, th these kind of tools, um, a lot of uh, display tools and, it, and stuff like that. Stuff that I use to, to do a lot of scratch building. So um, I use different saws, different drills, different, uh, different uh, sanding techniques, different brushes. So we're gonna do a lot of stuff, paint stuff. I've, I've, I just ran into a bunch of chrome. I've got some some uh, chrome I bought from Spray Gunner uh, that I'm gonna do some reviews on, some custom creative chrome. It's called Still Chrome. I bought some Ultra Lumen chrome, chrome that I'm gonna be doing. I'm probably gonna be doing it on the, over there, the 55 Chevy I'm building. So uh, a lot of cool stuff. I've just been collecting tools, so um, so we can open them up here on the channel and let you guys know how they work before you spend the money. So, uh, I thought this is, it's a pretty, I mean, for 50 bucks, I, you know, you'd have to do a lot of, uh, scratch building. I think, uh, if, if you're not willing to spend 50 bucks, I would, I would buy one of these from art. 
uh, dead center, uh, dr the drill starter here. I use these, uh, well, I, I use them quite frequently. Uh, and, and they're good just to, just to, to uh, set a hole so you don't slip. But a lot of, on, on this round stuff, we slip off, we break drills. I mean, I have so many broken drills from slipping off uh, a round piece. And uh, I mean, half my drills are, are broken because of that. So uh, I just ordered some new drills and hopefully that doesn't happen anymore with this. I did try this out and, and when I got used to, before I got used to using it, uh, I, I did break a couple drills in it, but uh, that was just me figuring out the tool. So, I mean, there's lots of combinations you can use on this, different styrene sizes uh, and, and stuff like that. So, uh, pretty cool. So, I mean, drilling holes through stuff like this, I mean, would be next to impossible. But see, you get hole sizes like this, you see, that uh, would work. I mean, and it's it, essentially the same as these bigger ones. It's got a hole down the same. All you're doing is drilling a different size hole. So, uh, and the smaller the hole, the, the more careful you got to be. So, uh, I think this is uh, at least a one thumbs up. I mean, I, I like the tool. Um, I, I you, you know, the concept is, is two thumbs up. So, let's... Uh, I'll let you know, guys know in the future uh, as I scratch build this thing, scratch build a lot of stuff on here, uh, I'll let you know how it works. So we're going to use it a lot on this build. I have some ideas of what I need to drill on here and, uh, you know, and we'll let you guys uh, go through the journey with us. So uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. Um, why do you watch this crap? Why do you watch this crap? <laughs> so uh anyway guys uh have a great week and uh hope you enjoyed the the tool review of the, dr the drilling tool the borehole positioner drilling tool so uh you guys take care have a great week bye now